Hello, in this video we are going to be creating the game state. The game state is where all the game logic, the AI, all of that good stuff is going to happen. It's going to be where the actual player will be spending most of the time and it is where the player will be while well, playing the game. If you remember in the previous video we created a main menu state and when you click the play button it just printed out go to game screen. Let me just quickly run the application and show you. By implementing a game state, what we'll be able to do is actually click the play button and transition to a different state, just as we have from the splash state to the main menu state. So the process is very similar. Let me just quit this application. I'm not going to be running it for a while. So if we go to definition, we need to create some more definitions now. So the first one. We need to do is create a game background file path and it is actually the same background that we're using which is the yellow background and the main menu background and you might be thinking why are we creating a new define even though it's the well the same image the simple reason is we can easily change this at a later date if we decide that we want to change the main menu background or the game background we can just come here and change it instead of having to go into the code anywhere that we've used this defined let's say if it's used on four different states we'd have to change it in four different states and if those states have quite a lot of code trying to search for it can be a bit of a pain so instead we have them here you go here you change it simple like that and well it will just work so the next define that we need is let me just add some empty spaces so it's easy to scroll up and down let me actually close this as well. So what I'll do is just do hash define. It's going to be the pause button. Because remember, we'll have a pause button on the actual game screen, which will allow you to pause the game. This is going to be resources for slash res for slash pause button dot png hash define now we're going to specify the actual pieces that the player will be placing so the x and the circle so x underscore piece underscore file path resources for slash res for slash x dot png and what we want to do is just do the same for the circle naming is very similar so just turn that circle we're going to copy and paste this and now we want a piece for when the user has one or when x has one which will have a different sort of design to it and you'll create either like a diagonal line or a vertical or horizontal line depending on the actual winning pattern and this is called x win png copy and paste that as you've probably guessed there is a circle winning piece png as well so if we go to here circle winning piece png scroll down a bit and now we want to actually define some different st sort of states for the actual grid which will have the different pieces so hash define x underscore piece and i'm just going to assign this the value a to hash define circle underscore piece and I'll define the value zero for this then we're going to have a hash define for an empty piece because we need to be able to track when certain part of the grid is empty so we can place something there and this is going to be negative one I'm going to have a hash define for player underscore piece and this will just be x underscore piece or circle depending on what you want the player and the AI pieces to be so you've guessed this will be AI piece and this will now therefore be circle piece. Now we're going to create some states for the actual game state which will determine what is happening. So stuff like is the game being played, is the game paused, uh, how do we have a win state, is the AI placing a piece so we don't want the user to be able to place a piece during that time. In case we have some sort of animation just different states like that or basic stuff so hash define state underscore plane 98 hash define state underscore pause 97 
and I'm just going to copy and paste it to save some time. We need five more states. So we've got five more states now. This is going to be one. This is going to be loose. This is going to be placing. Peace. It's going to be AI playing. And this is going to be draw. So now we're just going to change this to 96. So you can guess what we're doing. Just going down. I mean, for a no particular reason, we're using these numbers. Let's try and keep them unique. We don't want anything to be overlapping. Definitely want, don't want these to be overlapping or these to be overlapping. We could use any numbers you want. These are just the numbers I have chosen. So if you save that, and now what you want to do is just go to the your project and you need to create some files for the game state so for me to create files is pretty easily i'll just do right click new file just do it however you need to for your text editor or ide c++ file make sure you create a header file as well i'm going to call it game state oh no, just game state sorry and just add it to your target create open up game state .hpp. And to actually save some time, if you go to the main menu header, copy and paste this into the game state. This is what I would recommend doing from now on once you've familiarized yourself with the general process and what we're doing and why we're doing it. If you just go here, we just need to modify a few things. We're happy with this part. We just need to change this to game state, this to game state. In it, handle input, update draw, that's fine data, background, instead of a play button and a play button outer and a title, we only need one button here and this is going to be pause button, there we want int turn, so whose turn is it at the moment and int game state, so the turn will contain the define from this set right here, circle piece, x piece, and then the actual game state will contain one of these game states. So now what we want to do is go to our CPP file and we can do the same, just copy and paste the main menu state, the game state CPP, and we just need to modify a few things. First of all, change this to game. And now what we need to do is just obviously change this to game state and we'll just paste that everywhere we need to and then we'll change the contents of the methods accordingly for now let's just do that and now let's just work our way down so first of all let's actually just get rid of all of this content now we're going to do game state equals state plane so the player can play as soon as the game loads now we're going to do turn equals or the player piece because remember the state is plane so therefore the turn should be the player piece that's the piece that needs to be placed and now we need to load an asset using our asset manager so this underscore data assets dot load texture and the name we're going to assign to this asset is pause button because well it is a pause button and we're going to have the pause button defined like so now what we're going to do is just do underscore background dot set texture for the texture we're going to set it equal to this underscore data assets dot get texture and this is going to have background in there you might be wondering why aren't we loading this particular asset for this and the simple reason is we've already actually loaded it as just a generic background if you want to extend it to use that extra hash define you easily can but for now just to keep it simple we're going to reuse the texture but it it's just a simple change if you do want to use that extra define. It's just a great way of doing it just to get it set up so you can easily modify your code at a later date. So underscore pause button dot set texture 
and for this going to be something very similar copy and paste that to save some time this is going to be pause button now and now we just need to set the position for the pause button don't need to set the position for the background because it covers the entire screen and it's already positioned so it covers well the entire screen so do dot set position and for the x value we're going to do this underscore data window dot get size dot x so again the size of the window minus underscore pause button dot get local bound so again the size of the pause button dot width like so and what we're doing here is because the actual image for the pause button if we don't set the position we'll start in the top left we want it to be in the top right so we're moving it by the width of the screen but that means it's actually technically off screen because the left side will be sort of just on the right side of the screen so we just want to move it by the width of it back to the left so we can actually see it and now for the y position all we need to do is underscore pause button dot get position dot x because we're happy i mean dot y sorry because we're happy with it being at the top now let's scroll down and handle some input we're handling the window closing that's not a problem for this we need to check if the pause button is clicked so change this to pause button and if it is we are simply going to say pause the game and I need to actually spell pause button correctly and now if we go down to our draw method we can get rid of all of this and just put this underscore data window dot clear no sorry dot draw and what we're drawing first of all is the background so this underscore background and now this underscore pause button like so so that is pretty cool so that is actually done the only one last change we need to make is in the main menu state so if we go to main menu state the cpp first of all we just need to include the game state header and if we scroll down to the handle input section we just need to change this so we actually switches to the new state so this underscore data machine dot add state state ref we're just using the same process that we have before when creating and adding a new state and for this it's going to be new game state underscore data and we're going to put true here because we wanted to replace the current main menu state so if we save it run it okay it's successfully built goes to our main menu state and then when we click this we get our game state so if we just open up the debug console and click the pause button as you can see it says pause the game in a future video we will cover creating a pause state if you have any questions feel free to post them on my educational platform sonarlearning.co.uk if you want to check out the source code there will be a link to github with this video and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a wonderful day